So we are showing three innovations in this uh, park. One, we are showing multi-services running on a universal CPE, so the customer can uh, mix and match different services that run on a white box. And two, we are showing multiple access technologies that terminate on the UCPE and on the other end can use the same uh, transparent transport network such as AT&T and PLS network. And the third capability, we are showing how to manage this infrastructure. So we have embedded a virtual OEM from RAD. We coll collaborated with RAD on this uh, innovation. This virtual OEM is service agnostics that sits on the UCPE, the compute node, that helps us manage the VNFs either in a uh, static uh, service, uh, service chain uh, model or uh, separate VNFs that are running on the, uh, on the compute node. So the virtual uh, OEM allows us to detect the problem, uh, troubleshoot the issues within the compute node, and also measure the SLA to the transport network. And this whole uh, three ecosystem, the multiple VNFs, the multiple access technologies, and the virtual uh, OEM are managed and orchestrated by an ODL orchestrator. That's the brain that's sort of orchestrating the VNF on the UCPE and also configuring via NetConfiang on the southbound these VNFs to be ready for lifecycle management. I want to introduce you my, uh, my partner, uh, uh, Ethan Schwartz, who we're collaborating with, and he's going to demonstrate this technology with more details. Thanks, Eli. So I'm going, to, I'm going to walk you through an animated slide of the different things that we are demonstrating here. It's really enhancing the UCPE to be more carrier grade and to be more universal than just hosting virtual appliances. So the first thing we demonstrate here is we take a gray box and we um, add T1 SFPs to it and you can actually now support not just greenfield deployments but also brownfield deployments and here we're showing TDM going opposite a traditional core router supporting MLPPP. The second thing we are demonstrating is that just like with any network you want to be able to do service performance monitoring. Uh, the third thing is that since you have quite a complicated scenario where you've collapsed multiple appliances onto one UCPE, it's very important to be able to isolate if any of the VNFs are having a problem. So we're showing here also that you can monitor the VNF service chain, and then if there's a problem, isolate and identify which VNF is having a problem. The next thing we're showing is we're running a video streaming across this, and we can see when we disconnect one of the T1s what this would do, and we, we see this over here with the performance monitoring, the kind of uh, effect this will have on delay, jitter, and loss when you have congestion. And so that's gonna help you to identify that there are problems. If we go back to this side over here, we then ran opposite another white box, in this case, uh, Silicom's white box. We ran RAD's operating system on it, so it's a different environment. And then um, here we plugged in a NID, and the NID is an, is an SFP, and it's the only carrier uh, MFC 2 certified NID in an SFP form factor. So this is very convenient for the UCP model because you don't require an additional box, an additional NID. And so a uh, pluggable works with UCP well. And then um, what we also show is in legacy environments, a lot of enterprises still have traditional PBXs. T with, with perhaps T1 PRIs or, or T1 CAS type signaling. So we're showing that by plugging in a T1 SFP here, we can take a we can we can use a legacy PBX. And if we go off hook on this legacy PBX, we can have a voice of IP call. So we are running a VNF on the UCPE to allow you to change legacy voice over to the new voice of IP. And what we're showing also is on this, uh, on this NID, we're also doing packet capture. So you're gonna see on the screen over here, when I go off hook, which I'm gonna do right now, it's blank at the moment. When I go off hook, that, let me just go back on again, just start it. Okay, so when I go off hook, you will start seeing the signaling of a call. I can then dial the number that I'm dialing. And then what would happen is it would show you the, the, the call would answer and when it's answered, it's ringing at the moment, 
it would go off, off, off hook, and you'd suddenly see the voice of IP call with potentially conversion from G711 to G729. So this really allows you to also have um, advanced analytics to be able to identify problems, but also to support legacy infrastructures. The last thing that I'll show you here is secure MACSEC tunneling. So again, the idea that you can plug an SFP into a UCPE and do wire speed encryption. So to summarize, what we have in this, in this POC is, is, is really uh, boosting UCPE, not only with SDN and NFV capabilities, but also legacy capabilities, both for legacy access like TDM and carrier ethernet, but also to support traditional customer premise equipment like PBXs. To do VNF service chaining so that you can monitor the service and isolate for problems.